Hi guys, welcome to Original Games UK. It is that time again for the Game Room Tour. Um, I think it's been two years since we did the last one. I know it's taken a while, but we have had to put stuff... There's not much space left in this room anymore. So. No, it's kind, of, it's kind of reaching breaking point, isn't it, really? <laughs> it really is. I mean, we're actually kind of going into another room, but we, you know, this is the room itself. So I thought we would start over here with... Let's go from... Let's go from the very, very top. Because then there's like, there's like the top level and there's more. We've got some gaming cups. I don't know how much you can see. We've got an Asbo mug. And that's from the Tales Off Shop in Japan. Uh, Fire Emblem, Path of Smoke, and then Get Out Alive. Oh, you know. <laughs> Absolutely done you with uh, it. If you want to what this box is, this is the box for the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain collection. Prosthetic. Yeah. Yes. Okay, arcade um, fight sticks and all the Batman collections are all there. As you can see, there's some pretty big, some pretty big boxes. Yeah. Uh, so we've kind of got them. Oh, but nowhere else to really put them. Now, if you watch the channel, you will know that I'm a huge video game music fanboy and pretty much from this point on, it is just gaming music after gaming music. So Sam will show you them now. Some highlights in there for me are the Final Fantasy ones, Kingdom Hearts, Chrono Trigger, Dragon Force. I'm going to shut the window because there is someone mowing the lawn. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, isn't there sort of like like thirty CDs now or, or something? Um, I think there might be fifty something. Wow, fifty something, yes. Because some of them are in collector's editions boxes or steel boxes. So, anyone want to anyone pull one out? That's your favourite one. Oh, that is hard. But I think we'll we'll go for like a bit, a bit you know, something like a classic one. I think Chrono Trigger. This um, three discs. A lot of people pay a considerable amount of money for Chrono Trigger. So there we go. That. And then maybe if I just pull out uh, a couple more, let's go for Final Fantasy 3. And one of Simon's favourites. And that is yeah. Persona 4. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Dreams of love. Right, let's move on to uh, the next shelf. Like yeah, it? so the next shelf is the all the Wii games that I have. Not a huge collection, but you know, it's got a few decent ones in there. The games you expect, Twilight Princess, Fire Emblem, Metroid, Xenoblade Chronicles, Smash Bros, Resident Evil 4, could kind of go on. Oh yeah, all those uh, Final Fantasies as, as, yeah. as well. And on top of those we have some little quirky pickups from Japan. Um, I don't, we, they're kind of like randomised, so you're not sure which ones you're going to get, you just know you're going to get a keychain. Yeah, yeah. You won't be able to tell as well, those two slimes are actually different ones, a metal slime one and a general slime. That's because Square can just do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the collector's editions I am proudest to have. It was absolutely pain in the ass to get it here though. I bought it with Namco Bandai, it didn't arrive, had to get it from somewhere else, which was eBay. But that is the Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch edition. Yep. It comes with um, Drippy, I think that was his name, <laughs> Drippy Plushy. The, um, the book, the, like, the Magician's Wizard's Handbook or something like that. Yeah. I'm hoping they do something was it, like was this. It just, was it just a porn book? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hoping Especially they, with Drippy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping they do something similar um, with Nina Kuni 2. And then this was one of the bargains for my holiday to Japan. That was like literally a quid for a Kingdom Hearts collector's guide. And because it's pretty much in like full colour with pictures, it doesn't really matter that you can't read Japanese. No, it's more it's, 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 it's more the fact that it's a nice thing to have yeah. and it was just it was dirt cheap. So, yes. One of my favourite parts of the game room and you guys will see it whenever you watch our videos as the backdop. It's the Tales of Shelf apart from the little flat <laughs> slime. Because it really won't go anywhere else. <laughs> it just won't go away. <laughs> the Tales of Shelf. So we have my Favourite collector's edition, I think this was the first collector's edition that I ever got that wowed me. Yeah. Remember I was doing the the unboxing for that and that was, that was a good bloody day. Was that was that the one where I saw it on Twitter? Yes, yeah. you told me about it and yeah. I was like, instant purchase and it has the figure of Mila Maxwell and we'll go on to those later. Yes. So, uh, Tales of Exilia. Then we have Tales of Hearts R and Tales of Innocence, Innocence R. Yeah. So if you never knew that was behind, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Yeah. Tales of Exilia 2, Collects Edition. Tales of the Abyss on 3DS. Tales of Berseria, Collects Edition. Tales of Zestiria, Collects Edition. And then we have... Tales of the World Revolution. Yes. Yeah. Which actually, I think that, that was a difficult, a fairly difficult one to find, actually, wasn't it? I think we found that in like a bargain yeah. bin or something. You found it. Yeah. Si Simon is Eagle Eyes. I'm Hawk Ears, he's Eagle Eyes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> then these are from yeah. uh, Nakano Broadway. Yeah, because like. obviously these oh. are things that I know you guys won't see when you see our videos. Um, these are like paper holes, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know how well they've been picked up. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good, yeah. Okay, and then there's also one with female cast members as well. Yeah, sure, because I think of all the tales of stuff, actually, Symphony was still probably the most prevalent for actually getting stuff in yeah. Japan. Yeah. Okay, and then the next shelf down is a mix mash of loads of different collector's editions, quirky odd items. Because, yeah, again, you guys only see the uh, the front of these. And let Simon go along there. So you can kind of see we've got the Metal Gear going on, the Odin Sphere collector's edition. Do you want to tell them what's behind and stuff? Yes, so if I move these down, we have the Star Ocean. Collector's <laughs> edition. <laughs> Let's just laugh about that game. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's that one got played, didn't it? So, <laughs> so you can kind of see. Yeah, I think I think that's fine. I think, so we have Fallout Three Collector Edition, Xenoblade Chronicles, Final yes. Fantasy Explorers, Link Between Worlds, and Smash Bros. Wii U. Now you'll see a whole heap of Japanese PSP games. <laughs> yeah, they're all tales they're all of. All tales of. Yeah. And then behind that we have the last story. Yes. Edition. And then just we have an empty box, but we'll see that in a, in a bit. Yeah. If you obviously if you know if you know Dragon Quest, you'll know who that is on the side. So yeah, so that's kind of like you can see, guys, that there is not much room. So we're, I, I'm There's trying to bits do the best. behind bits. Yeah, yeah. Do the best with, with what I've got, and then the shelf below that um, is the GameCube and PS2 collection. Yes. I'll just go through. Sam's gonna go past. I'll go through some notable games: the Metroid series, series, Lost Kingdoms, and Lost Kingdoms 2. That was a recent pickup. Resident Evil 4 yet again. Symphonia. Obviously um, Zelda, of yeah, course. Yeah, Path of Radiance and Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, they're probably the most sought after games of the series. Die Hard Vendetta, of course, because everyone oh, owned yeah. that on GameCube. Yeah. And obviously on PS2 we have a lot of the classics there as well. Such a fun game, Capcom Fighting Jack. Yeah, that was actually really, really good. And then all the imports are at the end, apart from the Jack. Yeah, I mean, you, you can tell because the spines are uh, in colour. Yeah. Rather than our boring ass white and black ones. Yeah. I mean, I always say, I always make the point of where it is. So here's our version of Dragon Quest. Yes, and then I'll, I'll get out of the... Uh... Yeah, just look, just look at the difference. Yeah. I mean, so just, just kind of plain, and then in colour. Yeah. All right, should we want to move on to the uh, bottom shelf? Yes. So I can't, I can't, I can't get down to the bottom one, so you might have to uh, kind of pull them out. So the um, this is all the video game guides. I've actually done an in-depth video going through all of these if you want to break down. Hyrule Historia, that's a brilliant book. The Skyrim Official Guide. Yeah, the uh, Hyrule Historia actually was kind of like a limited release, wasn't it? Yes. Smash Bros. Artwork of uh, different games. Yeah, there's a, that, that, that's a, that one in Japanese actually is a Tales of, isn't it? I think it's... Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, and that one that went there is a Dragon Force one, the one that's in Japanese as well. And then something else that you won't see, and this is a sort after game uh, for fully complete in box like this with the, uh, with light the guns. guns yeah. Light guns. And that is House of the Dead 2 on Sega Dreamcast. Yes. A very, very fun game. Is the... Yes, there's the Hideo Kojima one that we got in the airport. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that is... Yeah, this one here. Yeah. So, guys, um, that's obviously the main part that you will see in most of our videos. But this time we're going to go over this way. So this is some more of the retro stuff and boxed consoles. We've got Dreamcast on top of there, there is a PS3 headset. On top of that is the Japanese PS2 box, Xbox 360 Elite version, and the Xbox 360 newer. Yeah, whatever that one was, yeah. Right, then we go down to the older games. This is my favorite shelf over this side because it has my childhood games. Um, if you guys want to see how fortunate I was to have Simon give me his old Master System collection, we also have a video of that. I will leave the description below. I'm trying to think of notable games on the Mass System. You've got the, all, all, pretty much all the Sonics. Um, Fire and Forget 2, that is a very rare game. 
Outrun series, Truck Rock, Streets of Rage, and probably the rarest game that I've got on the system, along with Fire and Forget 2, is East of Vanished Omens. Yes. Shall we go on to what's in the front? Yeah. Yeah, let me just, you know, slide in here. <laughs> yeah. The pride and joy of um, the game room, my favourite game of all time, is Dragon Force and Sega Saturn. So I have the American version, two PAL versions, and then there's also a Japanese version, which is this double disc one. Yes. Yeah. And you can kind of see. Um, yeah, and obviously having a sign collection, it's never going to be big, no, no matter how many you have. Uh, so yeah, so that's... I need to start upgrading some of them, like Sonic Jam and Street Fighter Alpha. Those are in terrible condition, um, but looking. But Shine Force Three, that is a rare game. That is mint, like legit mint, not a scratch on it. He says as he drops. <laughs> <laughs> Until <laughs> Simon takes a knife out. Uh, show me one and two. Yes. With the outer boxes. That's the way people want them. That's why you paid extra money for a piece of cardboard. Yep. Oh, there we go. Albert, uh, Albert Odyssey. So these are like the some some of the imports. I've not actually got all of them. I have other American um, Dreamcast games and other Japanese Sega Saturn games, uh, but they're in another room in storage. Yeah, so, so behind there we have uh, Mega Drive games. Yeah, oh god, yeah. I'll just show you a few. Yeah, just yeah, just, uh, just uh, show us a few. So, so you can kind of see Revenge of Shinobi, Shining the Darkness, Sonic series. Street I'm, Fighter 2. I'm looking to pick up Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles next time I go to Doncaster. Yeah, that's market. kind of your main ones, isn't it, to, uh, to kind of get you. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to get them for the right price. They always stay expensive. Obviously, Persona 4 Golden, for some reason, uh, yes. it's, just, yeah. it's just hiding in so there. We're make, making use of space. Now, multiple Legend Zelda collection editions. Majora's Mask. Skyward Sword. Wind Waker. And Twilight Princess yes. And such a gorgeous book. This is the Dragon Quest Encyclopedia of Monsters. Obviously a pickup from Japan. And I'll just show you how it does it. Like it will show you pictures of certain enemies, and it shows you what they look like in every single game. Yeah, and also show, it also lists which game they were in as well. Yeah. yeah. Really, that's that's yeah. really cool. I kind of this is the kind of thing that I will pick up to read, like you know, once a week, just to have a look at a few pictures in it. It's such a nice book. Yeah. For the 25th anniversary, I believe we're now on the 30th. Which is mental. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the next shelf is kind of like the Nintendo shelf. I'm sorry that the Star Fox Zero is on display, but hey, at least Kong <laughs> Fasberde is on display with it. Isn't isn't Slippy's like Slippy's granddad tower defense it's still, game? It's still sealed. Still, still sealed. Yeah. We'll see that later. So yeah, so, so you can see uh, what games he's got for the 64. There's obviously, obviously have the Zeldas. Yeah. Um, Golden Eye. Got course. Golden Eye. Perfect Dark. Banjo Kazooie. Mario Kart. Super Mario. Yeah. Such a good console, I just, I, it's just not aged terribly well, but well, the games are... If you make a box, the box out of cardboard, it's, it's never going to end well, is it? No. no. Advantage P, Game Boy Color, the Wii U box, this is for. And then, my favourite pickup from this year's Doncaster Game Market was Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. So I just took the, the game out just so I don't have to keep getting out of the box. Yeah, because obviously the box being cardboard, you don't yeah. really want to keep you know, and dipping your fingers in. Also have the original Dragon Ball Monsters. You can see it's a bit worn and torn because that is my original copy. Yeah. Such a game. Yeah, that, Such a uh, game. that one's been through hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some more Nintendo stuff as well as uh, Street Fighter Monopoly. Yeah, Street Fighter Monopoly in the back. back. So we yeah, have Game Boy Advance. His, his, uh, his uh, Aiden's only PC game. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it will, and it will stay that way. Never get any more. So yeah, so we have Tales of uh, Fantasia. Final, is that Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles? Is that one and two? The, yeah, Dawn, Dawn of Souls. Dawn of yeah, Souls. That is, that is one, two. one and two. Yes. Yeah, as the Fire Emblem. Uh, so, uh, pa uh, Stones. Sacred Stones. Sacred Stones. And just Fire Emblem. And just Fire Emblem. Metro Zero Mission. That goes for a lot of money now. Yeah. Three Zelda games: Zelda One, Two, and Minish Cap. Yes. And this is um, Banjo Kazooie: Guntilda's Revenge. Uh, then at the back we have Game Boy Color and Game Boy games. So Pokemon obviously Pokemon there. Yellow, so uh, Red and Blue. Obviously, for some reason, I, I, I don't say Pokemon. I, yeah, I, I just say Yellow straight it's away. It's because you have the Yellow version. Yeah. Obviously, it's hard to see what some of these are from just the spines, but hopefully. And um, we have the Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. You there. We've got tennis. Um, we have Harvest Moon. That was a few of them. Harvest Moon Two. And then the DS collection. 
I mean, some of them aren't classics. No, we've got a but really some nice, of them really are. We've got a really nice collection of Dragon Quest, yeah, with with Chrono Trigger, but three Dragon Quest games: Final Fantasy, Fire Emblem, Legend of Zelda, and then it goes into my 3DS collection. Obviously, kind of Brave, Brave, Brave Default being a great game. Yeah, we've got a nice, yeah, again, Legend of Zelda collection going on. Oh, and really then the uh, Dragon Quest that came out on the 3DS as well. Yeah. Nice. And obviously, yeah. PS Vita and just, <laughs> and just some more yeah, American, consoles. American PS2 and then the Fallout. Um, yes, the uh, Fallout oh. bag as well. Okay, then we'll go over here. here. Oh, and, it, and it's changing. It's, it's silent oh, over hello. here. hello. So yeah, so now we have a few posters. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha poster. Um, this one, I think, is Street Fighter 2 artwork. Isn't it? I think it's Alpha and Two, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's like a mixture done by whoever these artists are, but I really, I really like that one. Uh, Gal Canvas from uh, Super Street Fighter Four. This one was from EGS. Manchester. One. No, is that from Birmingham? Birmingham. That's yes. From, yeah. Like that one, obviously, the fifteen poster, which came from a shop that was only open for a couple of weeks, wasn't it? Yes. The fifteen. Yeah, it was yeah. a Square Enix um, cafe. So they've got one that's called Art Neo, which is one people go to. That's in uh, Shinjuku. Shinjuku, yeah. but there was a pop-up shop that it was near Akihabara. Yeah, which sold all Square stuff. Uh, yeah. Then we have. Uh, so, didn't you buy this one in, in Birmingham? The yes. T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And then just behind the curtains, we had, we had to get as much <laughs> light in as possible. It's Batman um, Arkham, right? You'll see it's changing Batman and Joker. All right, shall we move on to the other side of the room? Ooh. So you can kind of. Oh, we're getting a good look now. Let me just move the sofa. Yeah. This is what we look. This is what we have to do, guys. <laughs> right. Let's move. Shall we move on to the uh, posters? Yes. So yeah. So we have that awesome backdrop. I have to say. So we have the Fallout 4 map, which actually is really useful. Actually, if you uh, want to play Fallout 4. Uh, then we have the Tales of Festival 2014 Yokohama Arena poster. Which always, was, always has a glare on it. Yeah, I think it's just what it's made from. Um, which I think they were only available, weren't they, in the Tales of shop? Yes. I think. Yep. Uh, then we have the Ground Zero poster, which actually is one of my favourite ones. And actually the Phantom Pain one next to it. Is yeah, just, you guys won't see this. It is just as cool. So we've got that one with, with Kaz, yeah. and then we've got the one with quiet. Snake and Quiet. Yeah. And then below that there's a Fallout 4. That one came with the loop. Loot Crate. Crate. Yes, it yeah. isn't it, yeah. Then we have the Dragon Force poster, ah. which I don't think that one's not official, that one's nearby a third party. Yeah, but it because, but because, because there aren't official ones. So they, they just aren't official Dragon Force posters. I've never if there are, no, yeah. They're literally super, super rare. I've never seen another games room with that in, so. No. Then of course we have the Sonic poster, which. Classic style. Classic. Uh, the Smash, didn't that one, the Smash Bros. one, isn't that double sided? Yeah, it is. And it um, came with the um, magazine, didn't it? Yes, I think I think the other side isn't Smash Bros. related. If I remember rightly, it's either Professor Layton or, or Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so, I think it's one, yeah, Wonderful One. Uh, South Park poster. And in the corner is The Witcher. Right down there, you can kind of right see that. Actually, yeah, the, I, I actually like The Witcher one. I think it has like a cool style. Obviously, oh, Skyrim one. And then we'll move on to the uh, Zelda ones in a second. Yeah. Because I think we should move to the dude who's flipping you the bird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so this is the, uh, we're showing the box, but this is the Phantom Pain uh, prosthetic. All the fingers move, and I think the wrist also uh, rotates. The, the fingers front. definitely move. <laughs> they most definitely it came move. like that. <laughs> I can imagine it yeah, in the factory. Right, there's the Terry statue that we teased earlier yeah. on. My favourite character from Dragon Quest. And then we have Dead-Eyed Sonic, who always looks dead. <laughs> he uh, looks like a corpse. And that's a money box, guys, if you're wondering. Yes. Okay, now, Retro onto, TV. onto Aiden's uh, consoles, I guess, now. Yeah, so we have the PS1. Is anything in it? Spoilers. I'm going to say... Comment now. <laughs> no, I'm going to say no. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we have... Was well, not one of the Wii's. The other one I think's gone. I think I, I, I think I got rid of the broken one. So this is the Wii that is fully functioning. There's a stand like kind of in the back with all the plugs. Look, yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah, look. There's like plugs everywhere. The thing is though, if you if if any of you have more, multiple consoles, you will know the pain. <laughs> it comes with cable management. The, these two right here just sum up childhood. So I think if I'm right, this is actually Mega Drive Two. I think this is the second one they released, and obviously this is the Mass System Two. And uh, well, I didn't actually know until recently, you know, but they actually released a third Mass System. Really? Yeah, they actually released a, a one really, really late on the life cycle. And what games in? Some My game favourite Mass System game, yes. So uh, that was the the kind of, that's where we play the retro stuff. 
stuff. Right, let's move on to the back wall. I'm or the front move wall. This chair back. Or whatever wall you want to call it. Now we have uh, some Zelda posters. So we have the three down the side. We obviously have Link versus Ganon. And that is the iteration of Offering of Time. Then we have Twilight Princess. And then the Wind Waker poster. And this is um, the 3DS version, isn't it? Of yeah, a link between, a link between worlds. worlds. Yeah. yeah, that this poster, guys, kind of you can kind of see it's an absolutely huge didn't poster. It, didn't it come with a small uh, lithograph as well? Yeah, and the lithograph is in the game. That's kind yeah, of, we'll, we'll move on to that last. And then there's also a few sneaky posters. So there's this one up here, which is a link between worlds. Then we have Majora's Mask. Is, yeah, what's that mask called again? Uh, First Deity Link. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And then on the other side of this, a double-sided one, the other side of it is School Kid. Which, both sides were cool, yeah. but because I already it's have some... Dirty Link, who also yeah. is hard to get in the game anyway. But because I have some other School uh, Kid stuff... That we get to. Um, and then, Link, and, Link to yes. Worlds. Right, let's move on to some more games again. Let's go back onto the games. So, Dreamcast games. Look, right. at, look at this top section of games for Dreamcast. Yes. Guys, okay. All, all of those are recollectable. Yeah. Yeah. That's Don't forget to put on your badge. <laughs> um, yeah, and then underneath we have. Oh look, it's what was his name? Chase McCain, right <laughs> in the darkness. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Um, you kind of can't. I still can't believe like such a weird figure to come with. Yeah, the yeah, Lego game. And then we have Virtual Tennis One and Two, two Soul Calibers because one's never enough. <laughs> um, obviously, that like, Crazy Taxi. Now that's an absolute yeah. classic. Yeah, and Sonic Adventure. Some, um, some classic games right there. A PS3 collector's edition of Sniper Two, which Aiden got <laughs> from a, as a gaming a prize. Quiz. Yeah, yeah, as part of a gaming quiz. Which is just really, it's, a, it's really nice. But it's quite an odd thing to give as a prize. We'll just see what's on the back of it as well. So what came in it? Right, some, like, yeah. some content. Yeah, soundtrack, art book, the usual. Yeah, usual stuff. I must say, for getting that for free, um, pretty damn good. Yes, yeah, so down there we also have uh, the box for another figure that we'll get to, and of course the uh, math system box with the iconic grid yes. on it. Alright, let's move on to some more games up, up top. So these are obviously now more modern games. So behind these cans, which only... Where were they doing? Yeah. Okay, so the this one, the, the Street Fighter one, I'm not sure about because I got that for Christmas. Yeah, along I imagine that's probably... Online, I imagine that's where you probably get those but from. The Tales of cans, um, Simon has one, which is a very yes, one. I do. These were only available at Tales of Shop, Kotobukiya. And they had like a watery, fruity. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah. fruity pop. I'll, watered I'll down fruity pop. pop. So then, PS3 games, all of them are classics. Yes. We don't need to talk about any of them because most of you will probably have most of those. A, sm anyway. a small collection, but a very nice collection. Yeah. Then, the Wii games. At least all the games you've got oh, good. Are, are excellent games. Yeah, Tokyo yeah. Mario Sessions, Zebra Chronicles X, good god. Mario yeah. Kart, Smash Bros. Okay, okay. Star Fox Zero, that's the one that, that, that's the, that's yeah. the one that, that's the one that we can play. And you can kind of see um, where he's even is, is it? Why, uh, a Star Fox. Oh no, I was looking for the um, so the slip, Slippy's I think, I reckon that one's still, that one's still in the uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll yeah, be still yeah. be sealed. Then we have the Grand Wizard Edition Cartman. Who for some reason I don't know why they ever did this. Why these are like sticky, but they just they just they just annoy me. I would love for them to do a um, fractured butthole version with. If you could have any character from fractured butthole to be like kid robot style like that, yeah. who, who, who would you have? Butters. Butters. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So we have the other. Sure, you can. We have the other kind of match to that, and then we probably have Aiden's favourite can, which is the yeah. uh, which is the Symphonic the, can. Uh, Lloyd Irving. Right, so and then cool. we move on to the other 360 games. Again, there's probably these are all these are kind of a great games. So a few notable ones, but I will say, a lot of Odyssey. Thank you, Tutti, for yes. giving us that yeah. at Doncaster. Persona 4 Arena also pick up Resident yes. Evil, Fallout, Dragon's Dogma. I wish people, I wish more people knew actually. Yeah. The Metal Gear Solid HD version, Tales of the Spare. Capcom collection that was sick. Yes, yeah, and Mega Drive collection. Everyone's got that. Now all the little chibi figures in front. So we have them from Symphony. So we have Lloyd. Uh, let yes, I see, see how many you can um, do. Oh no, no, I, I don't know. I know this is I know this is Symphony uh, two. Yeah, uh, Emil. Emil. Don't know. Marta. Okay. T uh, Tenebrae. Violet. No, not Violet. Velva. Velva. Oh, oh. Lafacet. Lafacet. Nice. Um. <laughs> Le 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 oh, go with L. Go with L. No, that's just what was this Lila? Name? Is that Lila? That's Alicia. That's Alicia. Lila was. Oh, in guys, come on. Italian. What's her name? Saray and Mickey House. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Let's move on. Edna. <laughs> yes. Edna. Yes. Yes. All right. Shall we do the consoles? Okay. Consoles? 
So, consoles wise, you can kind of see we have. So, oh, we also have the, have the TV. Yes. So we have N64. I do have three other controllers for the N64, but this one is in the best condition. Yeah, it's usually the state which just dies, isn't it? I mean, I mean, I mean e even that feels kind of like near death. Wii Pro controller that came with Zenblade Chronicles. Yeah, but there's a gold, isn't there, with the Zelda one as yeah. well? Uh, gold Knight, actually. Gold Knight. No, that was Gold Knight, yes. Yeah. Um, Skyward Sword remote. Then we have uh, American and Japanese PS2. There's but also. Another one isn't there. There's also another slim one somewhere. Yes, and then there's also the fat version, which is next door. So I think actually, don't you own all, apart from owning like the fat American and fat Japanese, I think you won't own all oh, the PS2s. Yes, I can play any any PS2 game from any region. Yes. SNES with Super Game Boy Player. Yeah, yes. guys loving it. I would love the Game Boy Advance Player for the GameCube, but unfortunately. I, re I really wish I'd still, I really, I wish I'd uh, still have uh, yeah. long to that, yeah. Um, Wave Bird, two GameCube controllers at the back, and then my small, uh, but very good uh, SNES game collections. There's Link to yeah. the Past, Street Fighter 2, yeah. um, Star Fox, Super Ghouls, and Ghosts. Oh, nice. And one other one, but I can't remember. Oh, Diddy Kong. Then we have Sa Saturn. Saturn. And Dreamcast. Yeah. Yes. And then we have two fight pads. Yeah. And of course, the bongos. Yeah, the fight pads are Gal and Sagat, and the bongos from Donkey Konga. Right, let's move on to the Street Fighter corner, which, when this was first here, <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> there was, yeah, there was the, enough room there's to so, add more. There's so much stuff here. Like, literally, underneath boxes, there's just things. Little, little notes. Like, there's things down the side. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we can't even see the actual figure that came with Street, no. with Street Fighter 4. So, games-wise, though, we have every version, basically, of Street Fighter 4. There's multiples going. of the same game. Yeah. Yeah. We've got cro Cross Tekken, I think, it's there somewhere. Street Fighter anime series, yes. Kid Robot figures, yeah. yeah. Literally, actually, oh, what's that? is that a PS One game? It oh, is. Is it? I forgot. That's, That's the X Two. Street Fighter. Do you want to pull that one out? Actually, yeah. quite a lot of people wouldn't have seen that. This is yeah. This is the uh, Virgin white, white label. So this is like the Virgin's Platinum, basically. I love the way Zagat looks in that. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it Zagat theme in this game, oh. which is like the classic? We'll one. play that now for you guys. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're loving it. <laughs> you you uh, love it. One of my most unique things in the game room is this faceplate. Yeah, and also the vinyl stickers around the side. I, I, I still yeah. don't know actually where that came from. So I've never seen that before. And then we have... Third Strike. Yes, Japanese Dreamcast of Ojan. Um, this is New Generation. Some really old school artwork with Ryu and Alex. Yeah. And then Street Fighter 2 Revival. You know, that actually had uh, Infinite in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the game was absolutely matched up. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's that. Right, then we have probably one of the worst things <laughs> yeah. he never got because okay, technically Pr price wise, which, and also yeah, so price and technically it's fine. It's just it's it's uncomfortable because yeah. it's just so small. Street Fighter Five Alpha Fight Stick. Yeah, then we have an actual um, PS4. Yeah, button. an actual PS4. Uh, Arcade stick. Yeah, it can play on PS3 as well. Also the PS4 boxes behind. And two more Dreamcasts, because why not? Yeah, because and also the 3DS boxes are down there. Yeah, that's the. Uh, Is that the new one? Yeah, that's the, the new one? new that. 3DS XL, and yeah, you can tell it's in the PS4 back. And then there's a light gun for the Wii. And then we have Street Fighter 2 hat, which I'm not gonna wear. It's not like a fucking dweeb. But that's your hat, son. <laughs> <laughs> you, wear, you wear it all the time. Yeah, we, have, uh, we have dog meat. From the Fallout 4 uh, loot crate, yeah. Which supposedly is just worth nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, that, really is not that I tried to sell that. It really is worth nothing. I don't. Look, to some people, this is worth quite a lot because you could only get in the loot crate. Didn't so. didn't, didn't I buy it for like a fiver? Anyway, uh, <laughs> and then there's also Sonic. Yes, yeah, so he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's been drinking all night. And then the Fallout 4 shirt was also from yeah. loot crate. Right. right. And then we'll do the. So we've got the game oh, so yeah. You kind of see that we've got some. That's, that, that, that's the respect it deserves. Um, yeah. You guys wouldn't have seen that on camera, I just kicked it. Uh, yeah, so we have yeah, the two cushions, but you had like custom made. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah. I thought they, they're, they're kind of. I think they, they kind of like define this game and definitely like some unique stuff going on there and like kind of. Yeah. Right, shall, shall we move on to your Batman figures? Yes. So we have the. Uh, Arkham Origins. Is this, is, this, is this the Origins it's figure? It's the Origins figure. It's my favourite figure. It is. I mean, that's well, like... I, think, I, th I think it's because it's actual colour. I mean, even though it's just the Joker, at least there's some actual kind of uh, colour with it. Yeah. Also, I think just the, I think the base is really cool as well. And I try to have him so he actually looks like he's actually coming off the edge of the side, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, Arkham Knight, the most expensive figure, but so bland. Definitely the most grand. Uh, like, grand is in kind of big and kind of... Uh, yeah. 
kind of detailed. But yeah, so the, but the issue is they've literally painted it in one colour. Now you can say that would make the unique thing that it lights up. But Which yeah, at night time, in, like, fine. in the cabinet, yeah, but it's all black, isn't it? And then the Arkham Asylum. Yes. A battle man. Or City. Arkham City. Is that Arkham City? Arkham City, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, I don't think I saw another king with it. No, thing, did it? If it did. Oh god, I'm missing one. But yeah, so that's the Batman set. Now we're gonna get some Oh, it's me. Hello guys. Right. Wow. I think so I think it's off with the homemade figure first. The incredible homemade figure. Yeah, one of my friends very kindly gave this to me out of the blue. So it's a school kid figure from Majora's Mask. Handmade. Re like, re it is ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't really comprehend the skill it takes. No. That's what you do. And then just, just to give it to me. Just literally just give it to me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so thank you so much for that. And then we have Tales of Figures Galore. Yeah, so we have Lloyd, of course. Lloyd Irving. Yes. Probably the most sought after of these figures I'm about to show. No, maybe not yeah. the rarest, but the one that seems to be sold out a lot. Always sold out the most. We only yeah. saw one. Yeah. And Asbel, who had um, interchangeable heads. Yeah, yeah, I think wasn't he the only one? Yeah, the, to change into like the lambda eyes. Yeah. I love the stance. Then we have Yori. Your favourite character. Yes. Yori Lil. Like, I still think, actually, I still think, I still think the Mila figure actually is my favourite though, weird enough. I think of all the figures. Yeah, it, the Mila was that collection edition too. was sick when we got it. Yeah. Luca. With dual actually, wielding arguably, swords. Yeah, actually, he's arguably the, the, the coolest character, at least to play. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah. the combat with him, being able to change in between the swords, guns, and hammers was so fun. Then, probably people's most favourite coming yeah. character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tales of the Beast definitely has a lot of fans. Um, Luke, and what was so strange is I actually found another figure in a very similar pose. And um, so he's the only one who seems to be able to have like different versions of him. Yeah, something he's so popular. Yeah. And then Sheria. Sheria. Very happy to have her. Probably, I would say, my second third, or third favourite female character. And then, so, uh, lastly, now, this one. This, this one means a lot to me because yeah. we spotted this in the last day in Japan. Well, We've only ever seen one. It's never been in the official Tales of shop. Yeah, and that is Flynn Shifo. Yeah. Which, which is odd because he is a minor character in yeah. Vesperia. Yeah, very odd, but very cool. Final Fantasy shelf and kind of square. Yeah, square. Yeah, kind of square. Yeah, square. square. So we've got Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy in there. Yeah. So you can kind of see the Dragon Quest um, treasure chest at the back. There it is, guys. My favourite game in the series. Yes, it is. Leave the hate below. <laughs> <laughs> the inevitable hate. Okay, we have Final Fantasy Origins, which is one and two. We have Final Fantasy Anthology, which is. Th Four, four and five. Four, four five. Isn't it four, five and something else? Um, I always get it. Yes. Like, this one is the most confusing because I know in America they released a Chrono Trigger. Yes. Plus one and two. Or like Chrono Trigger plus three and four. Very confusing. Final Fantasy VI. Arguably oh, one of the best. Perfect condition. Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Which, yeah. Still have never seen another one. Yet. A figure of hope and snow. Yes. And then a m bit of a higher end figure. Which is lightning. the one that we showed you the box for earlier, which was over there. Because to be honest, finding, finding, finding lightning figures, it is, it is difficult. Yeah. Wasn't there like one in that Art Nia shop in Japan? I think it's because... The... But, it, but everything was sold out. Exactly, yeah. I think it's because it's like me. Like, if there's people who like, do actually like it, they like it a lot. But yeah. then there's not an, they don't want to make a lot because most people don't like Final Fantasy XIII. Exactly. Then so we have Lightning Returns and Final Fantasy XIII uh, too. Two. Which actually, XIII two is still my favourite of, of the XIII. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. And then Final Fantasy Seven, Final Fantasy Eight, and Final Fantasy Nine. You probably don't believe me because it literally just says they, they, they look exactly the, the same. same. Literally, yeah. one font is smaller. <laughs> That's the only difference. But it was Squaresoft, and then the Final Fantasy Type Zero HD. Yeah, which, which is I don't believe still is. my favourite yeah. collector's edition. Yeah, there's just something about it. And then there's this like kind of unique thing. There's some, yeah, just the swords of the famous characters. Yeah. So, I love it. Still says Versus Thirteen on, <laughs> on, on there. And now we have the Street Fighter shelf. Another, obviously, because the other one kind of bled over. Yeah, here's, here's my favourite part. Simon got me this. Oh god, he got me like four years ago now. The Remy figure. Yeah. In yeah. in neutral, medium punch standing <laughs> pose. <laughs> yeah. Hadouken Kiring, Street Fighter Five bandanas, which were only available if you played the demo. Yes. I think, yeah. Hadouken Cup, another soundtrack. Isn't that soundtrack? One of the most expensive ones. Yes, I think if you I think if you go on eBay now and you look for the Street Fighter soundbox, I'd like to say it's probably gonna be fifty quid before you even import it. Import yeah. taxes. Yeah. 
Old Street Fighter 4. I love how it calls it the Old Street Fighter 4 official Bible. Yeah, Bible. And that is an actual official product, guys. That's yeah, not that's by uh, Brady Games, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nakano Broadway pickups, just some Gal stickers. There's also a Gal figure behind. Actually, yeah, there's multiple Gal ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a, a, the, a the the card game at the back. Yes, there. Are, yeah, that this box. Is, can yeah, I say card game? Card game. Then we have Gal in my colours. Nash. There's a Bison and Guile keyring. If you haven't got it by now, I do like Guile. <laughs> yeah. PS One game, which is Street Fighter Collection. Yes. And the Street Fighter 4 guide. Yeah, the the OG guide. And the anime. Right, we've got two shelves left, guys. Oh. It's, it's all kind of knickknacks from uh, this Knick point. Knickknack, give a dog a bone. So we have... This is the watch from Tales of Exilia 2. It is, it's Luger's stopwatch, yes. Yeah, there's the lithograph. Like there's the lithograph, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Grow Lanter, um, Generations, Keychain. This is Gary Todd Link. Isn't, with. Isn't that from Japan? Yes. And wasn't it really hard to find? And his face now actually seems deformed. And then there's the uh, coaster. The Dragon Quest uh, Cafe coaster. Yes. Which we asked if we could take. Yeah, so that's got to probably be the rarest thing in here because you'd only get one place in the world. Yeah. Uh, Simon got one as well. I did, yeah, yeah. Gandalf figure from the Wind Waker HD collection. Yes. Majora's Mask pin badge, Fallout 4 pin badges, platinum version of a King Slime. That's like a, a line of products that they do. Yeah, yeah, that was actually uh, sellable at the cafe, wasn't it? Yeah. You buy it from the cafe. And some more is there. And then the lowest shelf is literally amiibos and figures. I can't show you them all. There is. <laughs> yeah, just, we just trust us. Yeah, in the background there is Link, um, Ganondorf, Sheik, and yeah, Paritana. I It's only because I literally thought that was going to go up in price. That's why she's, <laughs> the, that's why she's demoted Lies. to the back. Lies. And then Fire Emblem holding it down, Robin, Marth. Um, Shulk just in there randomly, and then Ike. So yeah, guys, I, I think I don't think we're missing much. No. So let's leave on an image of those uh, of this. Uh, the only thing we've got left to show you, we'll show you the PS4 collection downstairs. Yes, because yeah. one thing you may have noticed, guys, is that you've not seen like a modern games console. You've not seen a PS3. You've not seen a 360. And it's because they're in different rooms in my house. So guys, this is the PS4 collection. It is a collection that is getting bigger and bigger by the day. There's actually a sealed copy of a new game I've picked up. Um, pretty much every game you'd expect in there. If you haven't seen my uh, PS4 collection, check out the video now. Or alternatively, if you want to check out Saturn's PS4 collection, check that out. Or you know what, do us a favour and check both. <laughs> yeah, that Wipeout Omega collection at the minute is the... Uh... Yeah, that's the thing they were playing. Yes. Um, and then there's the, there's the Wii U. <laughs> kind of sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> Wii U with the uh, Pro Controller and yeah. the Wii U gamepad up there. So then we have the Resident Evil games. Yeah, so here... I think for the PS4 games, thing you're only missing, is it Revelations? Revelations, yeah. So yeah. we've got Resident Evil 4, original Resident Evil 1, uh, 0 and 1, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 7. Shovel Knight, which is obviously like one of the classic kind of uh, indie games. Yeah, Bloodborne, of course. Um, some classic RPGs. Oh yeah, you want to show the, what the Japanese game is? Ah, there? yeah. Blade Arcus. I think Sega should do like a series of this, really. And, and it has, you'll see here, it says Shining. That's because it has characters from the uh, oh, Shining Force series. Of course, yeah, just to make it extra cool. Yes. Obviously, the Tales of Game that came out on PS4. Uh. So many games to fit. Oh, there's Tekken 7, of course, which came out recently, Persona 5. And Vokeo Chronicles. Yeah. And that is... Yeah, that is pretty much... That is pretty much it, guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed the game room tour with a bit extra down here. Um, is there anything that you thought you missed or want to see more in-depth? Let us know and we'll probably do a video. But we shall see you guys soon.